Okay, we, we, I can put a little video in here of the baptism that took place, and you can see it here. How do you remember, how was it to experience that fight and joy afterwards? Well, during the baptism, I didn't really remember too much. I didn't really remember too much. But not to remember is normal for hypnosis. For this man was not baptized, but hypnotized. I didn't really remember too much. And uh, I have new teeth in my mouth. Yeah, look at the smile. <laughs> $13,000 worth of teeth in my mouth for free. The Lord has blessed me with it. And I have a new car. And yeah. I just want, want to put a picture in here where you can see a picture from the teeth when we meet met you and try to tell the story of the teeth. What was that? So he works with me, lives with me, and we went to a dentist to get a, um, to see what we had to do. And she sat him down in the chair, did all the checkups, x-rays, everything. And she calls us into the meeting and she's like, okay, we need to get him scheduled right now. It's going to take a lot of time. We need to do it fast. And I'm thinking, this is going to cost money because all mine are fake and I paid for them. So I knew what it was going to cost him. I said, okay, wait, wait, wait. We need to talk about money and how we can pay you or do work for you or do something. She goes, um, we're going to do everything for free. We just want to be a part of his testimony and what God has done. So, and and that she goes, um, we're going to do everything for free. No, nothing of what this man said is true. For he went to a free dental clinic. Free dental clinics in USA are nothing new. In fact, his new teeth dental solution was ready in less than two hours. Nothing of what this man said was true. Free dental clinics by state. California Free Dental Clinics, Colorado Free Dental Clinics, and the list goes on and on. But God bless you out there and beautiful testimony. Let's give them a smile. $13,000 worth of teeth in my mouth. She goes, um, we're going to do everything for free. Please be not deceived. This people are not Christians, not Christians at all. Torben Sondergaard is a Danish self-proclaimed apostle, and fake faith healer, who claims to receive revelations and visions directly from God. His organization, The Last Reformation, has been described as dangerous and occult by former followers, former board members of the organization, the press, other churches, and professionals. Sondergaard was living in Denmark until 2019, where Danish politicians stated that they would be looking into Sondergaard's organization in Denmark and the potentially illegal actions carried out by it. Shortly after this, Torben Sondergaard left Denmark and has shut down his Danish organization and started a new one in the US by the name The Last Reformation Incorporated. Sondergaard now falsely claims that he is religiously persecuted in Denmark one of the most democratic countries with the most religious freedom in the world. Also in 2019, a Danish anti-cult organization shared a story of how Torben Sondergaard's cult had abused a young handicapped woman causing her to go into deep psychosis and needing for psychiatric care 24 hours a day for years following the abuse. As of September 2019, Sondergaard is now in North Carolina where he claims he is preparing Noah's Ark, referring to his disciples as animals and has a continued public appeal for donations, for example encouraging you to pray if you are one of the animals. You, the animals, the people God is calling, be ready, prepare. There's not a lot, lot of long, long time for it, but I want to make this video to prepare you all ready now. And, and... It's so beautiful how God has prepared this place for us. Okay, it cost 2.2 million dollars. What happened was that two months ago, two months ago, I met a couple in uh, in uh, a man. I met a man in Florida who come from California, and he had decided to sell his house in California. And that house came on the market a few days ago. That house is on the market right now, $800,000. And he have a company beside, but he had decided to take 
all the money that come in from that house and donate to this. Pray for Fred and his wife who are right now selling their house in California. We need that house to be sold right away and with cash because we need those money so we can pay Fred, so Fred can move on, so we can sign on the papers. So there's a lot of details. We also need the last $500,000. And I believe that we can get it if we stand together. We God have called people there out there already to be part of those five hundred thousand dollars, so we can do it together without going to a bank, because this is God's place. This is not my place. This is God's place. God's place? Is this to be God's place or to be Torben Sondergaard's place? Let's go back and hear what this false prophet said about this place. Moving around from place to place and have not had our own place since we left Denmark. And we are just so ready for it. Oh, we are so ready to get our own place again. We are so ready to, to sign on the paper. And we are just so ready for it. Oh, we are so ready to get our own place again. We are so ready to, to sign on the paper. This is the place where this false prophet will be. This will be his final place. In hell, fire, 